Hello friends, welcome to the first in a set of tutorials on Erdos Imagine. So I am going to point out some important features in this uh, tutorial about the interface in Erdos Imagine and you will remember those features uh, in my class and greatly improve your production. Okay, so start this off by uh, opening up Erdos Imagine 2018 and you will start up the 64-bit version that will give you an interface that looks uh, pretty standard, something like this. Uh, notice that uh, it's pretty much uh, similar to most Windows programs. You have your uh, quick access toolbar along the top. You've got your ribbon uh, and various tabs uh, as well. You've got your main 2D viewer in the center of your screen. You've got a contents section over here that lists all of the data you have listed in uh, a particular view and then you have the retriever section which will hold all your shoe boxes and we will go over shoe boxes in a separate session okay so just forget about the shoe boxes for now all right uh, so what you'll want to do first is uh, check out some of the different options on the home tab uh, to open up some data which you will want to do I'm sure is from your 2D view you can open up raster layers and different types of uh, uh, data sets through your right click menus you can also go to the file open and open up various uh, data types there as well so if you have a uh, image that you would like to open you can right click and go open raster layer and you can browse to the folder that contains your layer um, if you don't see it in there you can change the files of type along the bottom or what you can do is uh, type in an asterisk in your file name and hit enter and it will show you all of the views available so you can go ahead and click uh, an image or a vector data set if you like and then uh, go ahead and click OK and that will load your data up in the background if you've already had this open in Erdos Imagine, it will uh, not ask you to build pyramid layers, but if this is a brand new layer you've never opened uh, in this program, it will ask you to build some pyramid layers. So notice that in your contents pane that you've got your image loaded and uh, you can expand that out and show the different uh, subsets of that data. So uh, in this case it displays all of the different bands. Now. Um, to pan and zoom, you can go ahead and click uh, fit to frame if it's not already fitted. Uh, notice that you've got your pan in and pan out uh, buttons pretty standard. So when you zoom in, you can go ahead and uh, zoom in or out. Uh, your pan button is up here on the top as well. Notice that you also have some uh, pan and zoom tools in your right click menu if you right click in the middle of the screen. Okay. Also notice in your interface if you've got drop down buttons that means there's additional features below so you can go ahead and click those and uh, see the different uh, options that you have available. So um, if you want to open up another uh, raster image you can go ahead and open that up from the same 2D view if you want. If you would like to open up a different data set in a whole new view uh, separate from the original view you can go back to the home tab and go ahead and add views and select create to new 2d view and it will create a new 2d view here and now uh, this is uh, completely separate from your first view you can go ahead and right click and open up data uh, here is from your folder wherever your preferred folder is um, also note that you've got two buttons here this is your default input so if you're going to this folder often you can go ahead and click this button and uh, whenever you're importing data or browsing for data to bring into your project it will by automatic uh, default go to that folder this is your default output folder so whenever you're writing or exporting files uh, you can go ahead and set a uh, preferred folder for all your output also notice you've got uh, different tabs along the top so if you click your raster options tab you can go ahead and turn on your fit to frame and that will by default fit your images to the uh, frame extents and uh, you can select uh, different options on how mosaic images are treated here so go ahead and click OK and that will load up your second data set and you might uh, get a dialog box that asks you if you want to build pyramid layers like we said before always uh, go ahead and say yes it'll bring up a uh, process list here uh, it will run in the background you can go ahead and just close that up and uh, it'll finish up when it's uh, uh, good and ready okay so notice that uh, you now have got two separate views here in your content pane 
Also notice you've got a dock and undock button. So if you want to move these windows around, you can go ahead and click uh, undock. And if you want to dock it back in, you can uh, toggle that switch back on again. Now, if you're uh, finished in this session and you want to close it down, but you'd like to continue at a later time, then you can go to your file tab and go save as, and you can save this session. And that session will be uh, saved and uh, the next time you want to go and open up this layout uh, exactly as you left it, go back to the file tab, click open and uh, open up that session from the general options section. So thanks for watching and uh, continue on with the rest of the tutorial set. Uh, thanks and goodbye. Have a great day.